Push on. Push on. Stand up there. And then basically reel when he lets you. <laughs> don't get me. Don't fall off, Rick. Ouch. Don't go in gear again. Don't go in gear. There you go. Oh. Keep reeling. He's coming right at you. Yeah. There you go, baby. That's the boat. Woo! Don't even horse them. Just, just, just play them nice and easy now. That's a good fish right there, bud. Pretty, man. Oh, look at that. Right. Go. Come on over. Come on over. Yeah, sir. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Right there. What is going on, guys? Today, today we are fishing. Offshore fishing. I'm fishing with fans today. Special edition. We are fishing with Team Control Chaos out of the Palm Beach Inlet. And Rick just slayed a nice sailfish. We got a clean release on it. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get a picture with it. It broke off right by the side of the boat at the end of the fight. So um, usually with billfish, that's the best way to do it. But we wanted to get them up for a picture. So we got to get another one for you. But sure. awesome job. Thank you. Sweet. Let's get some more fish. Damn, that burned my thumb. Woo! Wow. Get that rod down. Move down the water. Yep. Give me some water. Don't lift back the water. There you go. Nice. There we go. We got Rick on another fish here. We're not really Get sure what it is, on. but uh, he's reeling it up. He's bringing it up, doing a great job. And we've already got that solid kingfish in the boat, probably like a solid 20 pound kingfish. Good job, good job. I'm gonna have to move. And um, we are just catching a lot of fish, having a lot of fun today. There you go, perfect, good job. Good job, let me get out of the way. I'm all in the way right now, but we got a nice bonita on, and James is gonna go ahead and gaff it. But, um, you know, we're just having a lot Solid kingfish, I mean, solid bonita, but, Guys, if you ever want to fish with me and you're interested in fishing with me, these are the guys that you're going to contact and, and ask them to come fishing with you. And basically, you're going to book a charter with Captain James, Team Control Chaos. They're out of the lake. Nice one. So James is out of the Lake Worth Inlet, which is down here in southeast Florida in Palm Beach County. So if you're ever in the area and want to go fishing with me, you book a charter with Captain James and then arrange the dates and see if I'm available to come fishing with you. And we'll just have a go, have a blast and have a fun day catching fish. Come on, Josh. Look at that. Big blow up on that bait. Wow. Oh, he's still on the surface. I just saw the bait. Oh, yeah. Fish on. Every line is going off right now. We're still bump trolling. And uh, we just hooked the fish on the bottom and instantly just had an outrigger go off. This bit, this rod I'm holding actually got hit at two. And uh, so we're getting into a lot of fish. See what they are. Darcy? Yeah. There you go. Fish on. There you go. That came on bottom too, right? Yeah, that was sitting on bottom. Does anybody want it? Yeah, I'll grab it. Yeah, man. She's earning the bait. Nice. All right, that bait was on bottom. We just got a bonita in the boat from the uh, top, the top, our top water bait, top water baits, from our surface baits. Yeah, and watch out, Brian. He's going to come over your head. Just come over here. There you go. Perfect. So, um, so this is awesome. We are loading up the boat with a lot of kingfish. So these guys are going to have a lot of great fish to eat tonight. Oh, yeah. uh, fresh fish. And so we're going to see what these two fish are now. But now we got a double header on. With the gray sole. Oh, I got lead too, Scotty. Might have just got a... No, no, no. He's still on. No, he... It got heavier? No. No? Uh, should be able to start moving them then. It's not, it's not doing it. You got a big shark. Get tired yet? Slightly. Slightly tired? Slightly tired. Only slightly? 
Oh yeah, look oh, at him. Oh, he's right there. All right, come on, guide him to me. All right, get your pictures and everything, because I'm going to break them off here in a minute. You ready? I'm going to break them off. Thank you. It's always a pain in the ass fighting a shark like that in a little rod. I really wanted to see it though. That's all that I want to do. You didn't see him? No, 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 I did. Oh, okay. No, I'm saying I, like, I wanted to like, fight him to see about? him, you know what, what I mean? Yeah. Andrew just caught that nice sandbar shark, and I'm pretty sure that might have been the sharks that I was catching earlier this week in my shark video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Um, but Andrew just slayed the sandbar shark and actually had a good fish on and the fish was eaten by the shark while he was reeling in the fish. And somehow that shark ended up getting hooked on that little kingfish uh, wire setup. So it worked, he got the fish to the boat and they got to get some cool pictures of it. So uh, that was cool. Now it's time to switch up our game. We are going to leave the buck trolling scene and we're going to head way offshore, probably 10, 20 miles and we're going to be looking for flopsam, debris, um, so hopefully we can get on some mahi-mahi, but we are going to be scouring the ocean and looking for anything that's floating and hopefully it'll have fish on it. Okay, so we have switched up fishing again and as you can see we are now, well you can't really see, but we are close to land now. I don't know if I still have a fish, but we did go offshore and um, didn't really find anything out there. We trolled around a bunch of weed lines. Fortunately, no fish. So we came back inshore and well not inshore but close to shore and we're in about 100 foot of water bottom fishing and I just got a bite I don't know if I have the fish though I'm gonna find out maybe it's coming up easy man it's almost like I can't keep up to it or something oh my gosh you're totally right it's a short mutton I don't think it's oh it all right not be short. that's a start so I've got a mutton and it's definitely short, <laughs> unfortunately, but they have to be, this is a beautiful one, when they're young and juveniles like this, they're all colorful and lit up, um, but that's a good sign. I love bottom fishing and you guys know I love to catch, catch mutton snappers, so uh, he does have to be 18 inches long to keep. Okay, so I just dropped down again, got a second mutton snapper. Slightly bigger than that first one I caught. 16. That would have been a keeper back in January of 2000, no, December of 2016. They just changed regulations on mutton snappers. So instead of 16 inches, they have to be 18 inches long. Gorgeous little mutton snapper. They're so beautiful when they're juveniles. All those pinks and blues and yellows. It's just such a cool fish. And I love their tail. That is a gorgeous tail. Look guys, look how cool this is. The mutton snapper I just caught ended up puking this out of his mouth. Look at this. This is like a little reef uh, crab that lives down on the reef. Look how cool he looks. He's got his eyes right there. You can see, kind of see his claws back here, but he's totally dead. And um, I caught a mutton snapper that was eight pounds with a huge crab shell in his mouth. So this is a little crab, but it's just really cool to see what they're eating down there on the actual reef. Maybe I could use crab one day and try to catch mutton snapper. That would be smart. Cool. What <laughs> I just found on the boat. Uh oh. Wrapping up our day back at the dock, and Scott is over here filleting the fish we caught with my bovelade knives. And we just had an epic day on the water. It was gorgeous today, flat calm, perfect conditions. We had a blast fishing with my subscriber, uh, fishing with my fans. So once again, if you're interested, I'll link it down in the description below. Check it out, Team Control Chaos, Captain James. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. We appreciate you. And until my next video, follow your dream and keep on catching.